G'day, this is Adam from AVA Magnetic Levitation Australia and we're out the field with the uh, new Simjet which is something I've recently um, been working on and we're going to chuck it up the sky and see how much fun we can have with it. It's uh, basically a small uh, micro jet style build around a, a stealth jet plan. It has a canopy. Um, I've actually opted this one for a um, park zone motor but the rest of it is all Plectrico equipment. Anyway, we'll get it in the sky and see what it can do. So you can go fast with it, do loops and stuff, does rolls. And crushes. <laughs> I'll try and slow it down a little bit. A little windy today. Still catch the right in the wind though. Very controllable. Oh, you get that. I'll try it again. Uh oh. There we go, high off the load. That's pretty cool from a small plane, barely wing rocking, almost stalled in the air. This is the same jet with a slightly larger battery that gives that a little bit more power and that's the beauty of Planktrico. You build a plane, if it's a little bit light in the front, just step up to your next size battery. If it's a little heavy in the front, just go down to your next lightest battery. Um, if you build a plane that's really well balanced like this one, you can try four different size batteries in it so far that I have and I'll still get a good result. If you want to do more stunt flying, you put a lighter battery in. If you want to do high speed passes, you put a heavier battery in. Especially if there's a bit of wind around, it helps with more stability, have a little bit more weight in your plane. Definitely see there's a bit more power in that. This is the same jet again except with the lightest battery I've got in it so it's more prone for stunt flying and you can fly a lot slower in a lot tighter areas.
his stunts end up a bit tighter too. And high alpha mode is a lot easier with a little less throttle when you've got the lighter battery in. Ooh. <laughs> I'll try a bit of upside down flying, it normally ends badly. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh. This is the same plane after that horrible crash straight into the ground. It's been picked up off the ground. Straighten the end out a little bit. Still flies. Done. G'day again. I hope you enjoyed watching the footage of the Simjet in action. Sorry to my subscribers that the footage was over a month late. I've had no video editing software for some time. The good news is I have a backlog of footage, which means next week there'll be another RC flight video, and then the week after that there'll be a magnetic levitation video again. So, anyway, we'll quickly go over the Simjet and some of its features, and then we'll talk batteries for a little while. This is uh, what I've started to call the Simjet. It's um, basically a Delta type design uh, based on a stealth jet with a canopy. It's got a uh, magnetic key to open the canopy up. It closes with a magnetic coupling. This particular um, Simjet uses nothing but standard Planktrico equipment. It's got a uh, four channel receiver inside the canopy, but I could have used a three. It's got a 1.7 milliohm brushed coreless motor, a um, turboprop, and two one gram actuators. The um, angle at the front of the plane is about one degree, one and a half degrees, and the angle that I try to use on the uh, stabilizers is about 35 to 38 degrees. Um, the canopy has two breather holes, and Underneath I also put two other breather holes. That's just to keep the electronics cool. The basic um, pattern for the canopy is um, something like this. For you um, sort of fold it up into shape. And it's a, also a single KF airfoil, which is basically just two sheets so you form a step. Also, um, yeah, at the back here, I put like a little bump when I slot the uh, tail section in to help protect the actuators on landings. And all parts to help with airflow have got like a knife edge to them of some sort. So, that's the Simjet. Please tell me what you think in the comments. If you can tell me of any way that you think I can improve on it, let me know. Happy to find out. Now, Batteries. The three batteries that you see here are um, Planktrico products. This battery is a 90 milliamp hour battery and it's probably one of the most common batteries I tend to use. This one's a 130 milliamp hour and this one's a 200. If you find the need with your build that you need a, a lighter, smaller battery, you can make your own battery out of say a 45 milliamp hour. You can get a cheap um, helicopter battery. These are 130 or 150 milliamp hour batteries. And you know, 
you want uh, longer flying times, you just basically get a, a bigger battery. This one's 150 milliamp hour, and this one's 240 milliamp hours. The way you make these other batteries is you buy a kit from Planktrico for about 10 bucks, and the kit comes with enough parts to make three batteries of this particular size. Um, it also comes with parts to make three batteries of an even smaller size because Planktrico sells uh, micro size planes ready to go or in kit form that use even smaller batteries again. So what I tend to do is I use the six large magnets there for the batteries that I make and the six smaller magnets. Um, they're the ones that I use in my um, canopies for the magnetic coupling. Basically there's one on either side. If you um, ever want to make your own batteries, which you don't really need to, the Planktrico ones work quite fine. You basically either go on the Planktrico site and they sell bare batteries as well, or you go on eBay and you pick up a handful of batteries like this, which probably cost less than $15. Um, this one's a 45 milliamp hour. This one's a cheap helicopter battery. I mean, you get a handful of these for about five bucks. You get like three batteries maybe or something. And if you want long flying times, um, you might pay like two dollars, fifty, three dollars for you know one of these much larger batteries, and you just kit it up yourself. So that's it. I hope you've enjoyed watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time. In the um, description at the bottom, there'll be a link to Planktrico, um, information about where you can get Depron Foam in Australia from Depron Foam Australia and a little bit more information about the Simjet's um, sizes and parts that are actually on it. I, in front of you is all the odds, jets and different designs that I worked on and crashed really badly sometimes when I was making the Simjet. Hope to see you next time and Adam out.